Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of the Minecraft. This will be known as episode three, and today we've got something a little bit special to start the episode. If you can tell where I am just by looking, then congratulations to you. If you can't, that's certainly okay too. We found a spawner, doing a bit of uh, looky loo around the base. Uh, we're at negative 300, negative 60 basically, and our base is at 100, 100. So we're just kind of going through some caves here, and we stumbled upon this. Obviously, I blocked this off; it didn't generate like this. Uh, I did go through the chests already. We got a few good things. We got a saddle, a uh, golden apple. We found two of these music discs. Now, I did already find another spawner while I've been looking around, but it was a, another zombie, so we obviously do not need that. Um, and a couple bones and iron horse armor. That's about all we got from this, so I guess the next step here would be to remove all the walls and the ceiling and all that stuff, but we are going to do this one proper, unlike the zombie one that we have going already. With this one here, I do want to use soul sand. So essentially, what's going to happen is the mobs are going to get pushed this way from water, just like with the other one, and then they're going to do a big drop, pew, all the way down, uh, 21 or 22 or 23 blocks, I can't remember exactly what it is. But that's how far they're going to go down, and basically it's going to leave them with a half of heart. Then they're going to swoop back up here, and I'm going to hit them once with my sword since they have half a heart. It's going to take them out easy peasy. So that's where we are right now. Let's get started. Alright, time to be a brave boy. Base is right there, or right here. The mine and stuff is right here. And I thought this was a good place to put our portal. So I just want to quickly get in, see if we can find some soul sand, and get back out. Alright, we have reached the top. Uh, good news is we can get some glowstone at least. Eh, not bad. Not as good as silk touch, but it's something. Alrighty, had to go back up and get some more tools. And we found what we were looking for. I don't need too much of this stuff, so I'll probably just grab like a stack and that should do me forever. But uh, yeah, we got what we needed. Alright, found a little warped forest here. Want to get some of these guys here. And we got some mushroom lights. Turning out to be a pretty good day. All right, all done in the nether for now. I did have to get a uh, silk touch on one of the uh, pickaxes, and I repaired it with uh, one diamond I found out while I was uh, caving earlier. And warped stem, warped uh, warp block, and warped nallium. We got all three of those here. We also got the Warped Fungus, and for the Crimson, we got the Nylium. Didn't get any of the Crimson Stem, or the Warped Block, but I think we can put Bone Meal on here, and it'll spread, and yeah, we'll be fine with that. We also got some Shroom Lights, uh, which are pretty cool, and the Crimson Fungus, and... There was a ghast, not paying attention, so I literally just walked up to him and smacked him a couple times. Bunch of glowstone dust so we can actually start using some different forms of light, uh, as well as the shroom lights, and a whole bunch of gold and quartz. So overall, not a bad haul, can't really complain, and we'll catch you in the next update. Alright, I have been busy. Uh, we have started clearing out the room. And this is what we got so far. This is just my little supplies chest. Uh, obviously it needs to come up here, but eh, I'm busy right now. <laughs> so, uh, it's working so far. Just jump down in here, and the mobs will come here. 
And then eventually their pathfinding will kick in and say, hey, I can walk here. And then they'll go, okay. And then they're up here. And now they're on the worst roller coaster of their life. Go down here. Go down here. And bam. Bam. You thought I wasn't going to be prepared. Well, I was. There we go. This. There we go. And that's how we do it. So, put that back. Uh, things are starting to come together, and we'll uh, update you when we get our next uh, update. You know how sometimes you just feel like you've gone crazy? I feel that way. I really feel that way. Oh man, this, is, this has been intense. Um, dug all the way out and all the way up. Um, I only got half it done. I still have to do this side here. But uh, I don't know if I can do any more. This is... Uh, I can't even tell you how many stone pickaxes I've gone through. I haven't even been using this one here. Um, maybe 30? I don't even know. It's It's been so much, but... Here's a little update for you of uh, where we are right now. And we're back. Looks like I'm going to have to slab off the top of that. That's obviously affecting rates. Uh, all in all, I'd say this is working pretty good. Haven't tested it yet, but uh, looks like most of them are going down in one hit, except for the armored boys. So yeah, uh, been busy. Um, fully cleared out now. I've placed a lot of this with a class. So you can actually watch them spawn. Go into the tube. That was perfect timing. Swoop up the tube. Follow them on their little journey. Look at him go. <laughs> and then plop. And then all you need to do, one hit. Oh, this is... Oh, this is worth it. Clearing out this entire thing, changing all the walls so that they're all the, the stone and not granite and diorite and all that stuff. Oh, I don't know if that was worth it. <laughs> but uh, here we are. And uh, I got to say, I am pleased with the result. I can't even tell you how many hours that this has consumed. <laughs> but we're here. So next thing we're going to have to do, and with the light this far back, you can stand right up here. Uh, light level is eight. Uh, nine right here, sorry. So that means the glass is eight. So that means in there is seven. So absolutely nothing um, is stopping them from spawning in here. Even down there, I did have to take out a couple of the torches. I also had a torch here and in the other corner. But it was actually bringing the front to like light level seven or eight. So I said, no, we can't do that. So yeah. And we're going to watch them go up one more time. I spent hours on this, so I think we can enjoy it for a minute here. And there he goes. Going on his merry way. And he's on vacation. Boom. Oh, so good. So good. I honestly don't know if I'm going to be... Oh, wow. I went from level 3 to 14 also. Um, I don't know if I'm going to be decorating the rest of this in this episode. This has taken me countless hours to do. But it's always something I've wanted to do. I just never have. Uh, but now we can say that we've done it. I kind of actually wish that this was like here instead might end up moving that I don't know um, yeah so I'm thinking like storage all along this wall I can expand further back if I need to I just uh, I can't do any more today <laughs> so let's just get rid of these guys here there we go oh I love it this is the most efficient spotter oh perfect cool so 
that's the update of where we are right now. And we'll catch you in the next one. Hello, hello, hello. We have done a thing here. Doesn't look entirely impressive. In fact, I didn't even finish off this back wall. <laughs> Let's finish that real quick here. So, today I want to work with bees. And you may be asking yourself, why did you do what you've done? Well, there's a good reason for that. So on this side here, what's going to happen is we're going to put the bee nests, these guys here, we're going to put them all along here. And that will allow us to have up to 15 bees in here because you can have three bees per nest. And right now, they're just going to fly around in here. I'm going to use some of these dandelions and breed them up together so that we will have at least 15 for each one. Now, after we've done that, we're going to pop off the back wall in here so that leaves just these little uh, slabs or half slabs uh, and it'll allow the baby bees to go through and allow only the bigger ones to stay on this side. And the reason we're going to want the babies on the other side is so that we can actually take those out anytime that we choose and move them to a new location. So just to kind of see what we're all about here, let's get rid of some of these. Oops, throw this down. And right now everything is fully sealed off. Ow, I'm in the fire. <laughs> Uh, everything is fully sealed off, so the bees cannot escape from here. And the reason you want the campfires... Uh, it's not good that there, no bees have popped out yet. Uh, the reason you want the fires... is so that when you touch these, they won't actually aggro you. Oh, okay, I was getting really worried there. <laughs> so, let's quickly do this to force them out. We're going to make some bottles. That, well, that'll be enough for now. All right, so we're gonna collect some of this honey and get them to all come out. See, they didn't get angry at me when I did that, so worked out nicely. So let's breed you with you. And there's a baby bee. So that, my friends, is how it's done. And we will be back after we've had some fun with these bees and we get some more going. Look at all the boys in here. Ooh, that was a nice little chunk of experience there. All right, so we have done a thing. Here's the area we were just working in, and here's the area beside it. You may know what's going on, you may not, but within the next few minutes, you will definitely know what's going on. So down below, we've got up our item collection system. We can demonstrate that by throwing a couple pieces on here. And it picked up one of them. Now it's picked up the other one. And there we go. So it is working. Easy peasy. And now we just gotta fill in this whole thing here. And a little bit more. And we are looking pretty good. There we go. So. You know what? No, I'm not going to explain this. If you don't know, you don't know. And I'll explain it in the next cut. But I'll, for now, I'll keep you guessing. Yeah, it's midday, so you guys should be out anytime now. Anytime we should hear bloop, 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 bloop. Alright, it's working. We just breeded some of these guys up, and all the little guys have just come on over, and. Ooh! Gotta love it when you see it working. God, oh, there he goes right there. 
that looks like exactly 15 right there. 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. That's exactly 15. Oh, that's the smoke from the campfire. I was like, what's going on with this uh, texture here? Okay, that makes sense. Not bad at all. That was dumb. Yeah, that was dumb. Goodbye, bees that I just wasted my time for. You will be missed. Oh, you guys are mad. Look at the red on your eyes. You are mad. I am not going in there anytime soon. Um, interesting. I just came back from a little AFK session. And found this. They love me. They really love me. Oh. Don't go into the fire. Dude, I will save you. Come here. Stay away from the fire. What are you doing? What? Why are you standing in the fire? Get out! Oh, you poor soul. We have done some of the breeding and it was beautiful. Uh, uh. Anyway, let's see what we've got. So this thing has been running for like five minutes. Uh, not terrible. We've got uh, two things. Um, considering that I think there's only two adult bees in there, that's pretty good so far. Let's just stick this here. And yeah, so we just breeded all these guys up and all the little babies went in here and now it's filling up in here. So I had a few accidents while I've been doing this and we've lost several bees. I was using this pickaxe with fortune instead of this one with silk touch. So every time I picked them up, they'd get angry at me. Well, now we know why. <laughs> So, we may put this on hold for a little bit and come back to it later. But as for right now, I'm very happy with the progress we've made. This will not be staying as oak wood. This is a placeholder right now. And I'm sure you guys can guess what we're going to be changing it out to once we have some more. But right now, we just don't have enough. <clears throat> I did leave this open at the back here as well. So that we can just come in here and, you know, check out the shears, how the durability is, if we need to replace it, whatever. And I couldn't put anything up here because we have redstone here. Um, yeah, so basically we've got our beehive or bee nest down here. Then the observer will go off on top. And whenever there's a change to the hive or the nest, so... If nothing needs to be done, it just shoots out the um, shears and does nothing. But if there is a buildup of honey, like you just saw it go off right there, um, if there is a buildup of honey, then basically the shears will shoot out, they will attack the hive or the nest, and then the drop will go randomly out on the floor, and then that's where a collection system underneath will come into play. And oh, we got three. So out of all that noise, we at least got one of them to work. So yeah, I've had a lot of fun with this. I haven't really played with bees too much, but uh, sometimes you just got to, you know, be yourself. All right, I'm done with these puns. But at the very least, I want you all to know that you should have a beautiful day. Okay, now I'm really done. Get away from the door. Knock, knock. Hello, get away. <laughs> I could do this all day. Just watch him go back and forth, just following me. <laughs> all right, we have done another thing, if you can believe it. Uh, anyway, <laughs> made a little walkway here, uh, going all the way up to our enchanting area and our mine. 
Now this is not going to stay the way it is. I just used it because I had plenty of the materials on hand. Um, this bottom part will probably be staying. It might change to some kind of a wood. Um, probably like a birch if anything because it's a lighter color. And what I want to do here, I have to wait for this thing to finish, is I want to use honey blocks uh, as part of this here. And I think it would just look amazing. So this is basically just something so that when I do get this stuff, I've done all the calculations, I know what goes where, I can just plug it in and I'm done. But for right now, it's a lot easier than having to find my way around and because um, right now I was just kind of swimming in the water and then jumping up, jump, 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 jump until I finally get here, but this way is going to be a lot easier. So it's not permanent. I certainly won't be using torch spam, but right now it is what it is. So hopefully you like it, but don't get too attached because it won't be here for long. And that was definitely a squid. Hello, Squiddy. Goodbye, Squiddy. Thank you for your die. See? Ink sack. Not die. My bad. But yeah. Um, this took quite a while to do, so I think I'm going to go back to the bees for a bit. And we'll uh, update you if we have something new. Hello, everybody. We finally got this all done. Oops, wrong way. Um, so this is all full with the bees. And there's obviously a lot more bees in here than just the 10 that you can see right now. Um, but yeah, it's been running for a little while now. It hasn't been a super long time. Uh, we got 39. Well, that's not all we got, though. Because uh, we did also get a bunch of these honey blocks as well. So to get the honey blocks, you get the honeycomb, put it into 2x2, two two, and boom. So now we've got 42 honeycomb blocks to work with. Uh, this has been a very, very long episode for me. For you guys, not so much. Um, but yeah, it took me a very, very, very long time to do this. So I think we are going to be ending the episode here. So get myself in position here. Right next to my little bee buddies. This is the end of the episode. So if you did enjoy, please remember to hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe and we'll catch you in the next one. Bye for now.